So the, this paper came about because we wanted to find out how much adoption has occurred of intraoperative radiotherapy around the world using a target IORT technique and the intrabeam device. Um, by the way, my conflict of interest is that uh, Zeiss, Carl Zeiss manufactures the intrabeam device. Um, I have been paid some honoraria and some travel reimbursement, but uh, not anything else. Uh, so we uh, contacted um, all the centers and we had I had contacts with them because we met at conferences in all, all around the world and asked them, how many patients had you treated with target IORT? And each of them gave me numbers and we asked them second time and they gave me, we have treated, started treating in this year. We have treated so many patients by this year and this is our address. So if you go to um, HTTPS target.org.uk, backslash travel, you'll find a, a map of the world. Um, I can show you the map. So this is the target website. It's called target.org.uk. And if you go to slash travel, you'll see um, this map. This is the preprint, but the paper is now published. So each of these centers was uh, contacted by me and they um, told me how many patients they treated. And on the same page, you can put in which is the closest center to you to receive target IORT. And then that will tell you where is the next center and what is the uh, distance you'll travel, um, avoid traveling to your other center um, and how much money you will save and how much carbon dioxide, mainly how much carbon dioxide emission you will save by, by doing that. Um, you can put a, a postcode in say San Francisco, uh, say San Francisco, um, and I won't put that and I'll say 15 and uh, I will say UCSF. And so within your country, so it goes on and it tells you that it will travel distance six miles because you're very close to it anyway. And the closest center is, these are the centers where you can go within one mile, two miles, three miles and um, and it, because I put San Francisco very close by, but if you had put something else, then the distance saved and the number of hours saved would be much more. So what we found, so what we found in this paper is there are two sixty centers from uh, thirty five countries who treated uh, about forty five thousand patients by early twenty twenty, and uh, scaling up these already treated patients. 20 million miles of travel would have been saved and about 2,000 deaths uh, prevented. So it, it has the impact of this research has been uh, quite a lot and has been now measured. So that was the main point of this paper. We hope that knowing that this is uh, being used all over the world will um, stimulate more patients to seek this treatment and more uh, physicians, doctors and surgeons to offer it to their patients. There is hard evidence that it is good for them in terms of length and quality of life. Um, but the fact that it's being used all over the world, it's there in many, many guidelines. So uh, target IOT is included in many international guidelines, German guidelines, American guidelines, uh, guidelines all over the world. Yeah.